We wanted to give it, and that's passion fruit and ancient light pomegranate. So, oh, wow. yeah, really, so we have some really fun, exotic type of Asian fusion flavors. There you go. Now the traditional baijiu, mm -hmm. if you were doing it in China, would it be flavored? Do they have? Yeah, that was your question. Yeah, that's the thing that you're doing. They don't. They drink it just regular room temperature, not in shot, not in cocktails, mm -hmm. just usually shots. Mm -hmm. right. Wow. So with with the flavored ones, is that something that's part of the distillation process here in the U.S.? So mm -hmm. you bring that, and this is the part of the second. Right. Okay. Right. So that's something that's just completely innovative here in America. We do it for a few reasons. One is quality control. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that all we're getting is the original you know, spirit from China, but then we do a lot of the extra filtering and the flavoring and the bottling, everything here in America. Mm -hmm. And second is because that's really where the market is and that's where the expertise is. So yeah. we take a lot of care. Well, I feel like it's also become something very much in vogue right now with what's happening with other liquors and mm -hmm. uh, the different variations we have in vodka. And Mm -hmm. whatnot, so. No, in, in, in many cases, you'll find a three-to-one flavor to regular sales, so the bigger the more flavors really? you create, the better.